It's hard to believe it was just over a week ago that we first told you about baby Molly and her struggle against a rare form of leukemia. Since then, the community of Victoria has rallied around the Campbell family with an outpouring of prayers, well wishes, and donations. In fact, the whole world seems to have taken notice of this little girl fighting for her life at BC Children's Hospital. A News reporter Louise Hartland joins us now with the latest. Louise? Andrew, Dave and Rebecca Campbell have a request for our viewers. Keep the messages of prayer and hope coming for Molly and their family. It's keeping them strong. Completely, yeah, completely overwhelmed. Dave Campbell and his wife Rebecca say they never expected such an outpouring of support from complete strangers. Uh, that's probably one of the most amazing things about this is that people all around the world posted messages of prayer. All for their daughter Molly. She's just over a month old, diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia Christmas Eve. She's incredibly strong. Somebody uh, on the website said that she had my strength and my wife's heart, and I think it's probably the opposite. She has my heart and, and my wife's strength. My wife is really strong, and, and Molly is as well. Molly's story sparked generosity from thousands of people, some through this website put together by friends of the family, others from organized events. From 11 a.m. to midnight on Sunday, staff at the Boston Pizza at Hillside and Blanchard will donate all of their tips, and $5 from every large pizza sold will be donated to Molly. Celebrity servers, including Victoria's own Olympic hero Simon Whitfield, will be there, as well as some A News personalities. Auctions, dinners, and bottle drives are also in the works, with all money going to the Campbells. On Saturday, January 16th, the Roxy Theatre will be hosting a movie for Molly. Admission will be by donation, and proceeds raised through pop and popcorn sales will go to Molly and her family. The best part? Molly's brother and sisters will be picking the flick. Rebecca has tried to help their other four children understand what's wrong with their baby sister. She's explained that Molly's blood is sick, and that uh, the tubes in her and the medicines they're giving her through those tubes are helping to fight that. They stay in Victoria with their grandparents and friends like Shannon Bell during the week, then travel to Vancouver on Fridays to see their parents and sister. We're going on a boat. I told both Dave and Rebecca that the kids are doing well, and, you know, that's a testament to Rebecca. She's been a great mom, and she's done an excellent job because they're just sort of rolling with it. Still watching his tiny baby struggle is something Dave says he will never get used to. It's the most difficult thing I've ever had to go through. Um, it's a feeling of helplessness. Um, I'm, I guess I'm a typical guy. Um, when my wife tells me she's got a problem, I want to fix it. When my kids have a problem, I want to fix it. Um, and in this, you, can't, you just can't do anything. It's, it's a feeling of helplessness. Um, and to see any of your kids in pain, it's, it's difficult. For Dave, the whirlwind of the last few weeks has been an important lesson in what life is really all about. It's, yeah, it is about health and family and love and appreciating what you've got, the important things. A lesson he hopes everyone will take away from his family's experience. As for the donations, Dave says he and Rebecca plan to start a foundation with any money the family doesn't use for Molly. They would also like to try and get a children's hospital built on Vancouver Island to help other families in their situation. Andrew? Inspiring people. Very. Thanks, Louise.